Hello YouTube. So I'm just going to do like a bit of a tutorial on how to add your own pages because when I actually first tried I had loads of problems like everything that I tried just it just didn't work everything just defeated the object so I ended up finding out how to do it but it took me forever to find it like all night long so I thought I'd try and create a tutorial on how you actually can do it quickly easy and understand it basically so first of all you need to go onto your blog so I'm just going to use my new blog as an example I haven't had it long you go to customize which is in the top right hand corner now it is 2013 and I have noticed that it has been updated recently because this is not how it was the other day so it might be different for you I'm not too sure but you just go into your customize settings and then you scroll right down to the bottom and you'll have pages and it will say add a page so the majority of people will get this standard layout where you just put in after your URL you'll put in tagged and then slash whatever you wanted the, the um, page to be so say if I wanted it to be self that's what I put it as and I put the title as self and blah 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 and you'd have it showing and then you click save and that should have been it but when I go back it's got a little exclamation mark and it says that this page overrides a built in URL so if you're getting this problem as well the way to fix it is adding another page and instead of having it on the standard layout go to redirect so you redirect your page so then what you have to do is forget about writing the tag on this section here so on the second section you will just write what you want your page to be so that's what I'd want my page to be so then on the next section you have to write in your URL again and instead of doing that I'm just gonna go to this one so write your URL in there where you want it to redirect to but this time you have to click forward slash tagged slash whatever you want the name to be so it would be self again so you need to make sure that you write tagged on the redirect section after your URL and make sure the HTTP dot dot slashes are in there as well because it won't work and then just make sure that it's laid out exactly how mine is so your tumblr blog name dot tumblr dot com slash the name that you want it to be and then the redirecting is http dot dot forward slashes then your blog again then slash tagged slash whatever you want it to be and then you need to make sure that this is clicked so show a link to the page so that is clicked and then you have to name your page so I'd name it, I don't know, wishlist, say it was wishlist with an X so I know that I'm not going to get confused. Then you have to click save and go back to your menu. So I've, I've, it is a wishlist but I've saved it as self so if I just click on it to edit it, I'll save it as example, right? But when you actually type in the URL in here, this is the one that you're going to want to write in, this one here. So save that. So it ain't saved for some reason. But that's the one. And then to get onto the page, you type in your Tumblr blog. And then and this is how you basically do it. So and that's it and to actually get the stuff to show up on your page you need to let's have a look if I go on to my dashboard and go on to my own posts so I've reblogged loads of pictures as you can tell let me just find one so this is myself here um, to make this appear on your page you need to go to the settings but really you should do this as you're posting it so when you're actually posting it it should sort of look something like this and you should have this box here and then you should have like a tag section so then type in self 
with a comma and that actually creates it that will send that to your page so if I save this post and then I'm actually going on to my proper self page so there is the photo right there and that's how you do it basically so you just have to tag self in the background but I'll just show you the settings one more time and that's basically it. If you've got any questions, any queries, if it hasn't worked for you, maybe other ways will work. And I will do a tutorial on that as well. So just let me know if, it, if it's worked or not. Yeah, just any questions, just ask and I'll reply as soon as I can. Hope I helped. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.